I mean, I could just, there's just a list. There's too many things. I mean, I've had to, I've been an angry tree. I've been a dancing wall. I have been um, water and fire and time. I've been a fighting gear. I have been um, a bush and I have showed my buttocks at least twice. The Phantom Tollbooth or the Princess Bride is like. So if I had to choose any superpower, this is a, a cop out answer, but I'm gonna go with flying because of the convenience of the real world. So if I wanted to fly somewhere and I didn't need my car, I could just fly there. If it was like a world filled with superheroes, maybe I would choose like control fire or something, but because it's not, I would need to fly because, you know, work at Shakespeare and you work in, in another theater in the city and you can't park your car. Best animal impression? Oh man, um. <laughs> Let's see, I can whistle like a bird, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> But I have to not smile. This is serious. See, I was like watching it like it was there, but it wasn't. Okay. Uh, I just switched, so Mac now. I don't like it when chronic lateness, horrible. Also, almost anything, traffic. Everything traffic. Cutting so off of people, that. people not letting me merge in, and people too fast, people slow, everything in cars. Drivers from Maryland. <laughs> Video games. No rent. I had the building that the Ghostbusters lived in. A big scale building of the Ghostbusters and the car. And that whole building was its like the guy version of a dollhouse and that was my everything. That toy was my everything. I still have a lot of those toys that sit on my like microwave and around my TV and stuff too. Not that one, but that was the best one. Uh, I guess I would like to go to Australia, but I just saw a video of a spider carrying a mouse away and that made me <laughs> rethink that. So uh, somewhere in Australia where it's not spiders, like the beach or something. When I spent time, I lived in Belgium for like three months and when I was there they had, this, uh, somebody made us wildebeest, somebody made horse. I had both of those. I have never read the Harry Potters or seen them. I missed the wave and I refuse to go backwards, but I know enough about the houses that I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure I land Slytherin. I'm pretty, I'm almost positive. Um, I, Dear Evan Hansen just went up in arena last year and it was, I don't know if it's the best play I've ever seen, but certainly in the last five years, it was unbelievable. It was astonishing. I make a high five, a different, very complicated, like, high five with every member of the cast, and then I go and find them before the show starts, and I do it with everybody. Is it different for every person? It's everybody makes their own, so, so it's like, uh, uh, me and Tori actually forgot ours from Man in Iron Mask. We have to go back and remember it now. We remember most of it, but we have to remember it. But me and Zana's has always been the same, and, and me and Alex's has always been the same. So it's, we have to make high fives for everybody in this cast. Intellectually, it's James Spader. The person I'm attracted to the most. I mean, I love Emma Stone. I love her. Um, I also love Tori Kelly. I mean, you know, but Emma Stone is also so good. Uh, don't settle for stuff. Things that scare you the most are the things that improve you the most. It's anything John Legend does. I can make my cheeks go like a dog's cheeks. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. This is better when you do it in slow motion, but I'll do it for you. I will do this. I was thinking about this one. I will do this because it's the best I can do and I'll mess up now because the pressure's on. So <clears throat> this is, hi, my name is Ryan Sellers. I will be doing Charlie in the Box from Rudolph the Redness Reindeer. Nobody wants a Charlie in the Box.
something nobody would have guessed that I have ever done. I went from, I was in Paris by myself and I couldn't get a taxi, so I walked across the entire, uh, all of Paris. I walked from one side to the other. It took me like four hours because I had to get back to my hotel so I could get back to the train to get back to where I was staying in Belgium. And I went, with, I wasn't with my friend who I was traveling with. So I walked from the Lido, which is like the Moulin Rouge, across all of Paris until I got to the other side um, and took me like four hours to do.